talk about numerology. Um, it's something that everyone seems to be interested in, but for some reason, everybody doesn't really seem to know a whole lot about it. And so we figured, well, why not go to an expert? And you can't get more expert than you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, I'd, I'd like to start out like, well, for someone who really doesn't know, what is numerology? Well, numerology is an ancient belief system that says that everything in the universe vibrates with a mathematical vibration, such as your name, where you live, the house you live in, even your bank account. If we add up all those numbers on your bank account, they stand for something. And so, oh, I just had a funny sound in my ear, I'm sorry. But I, everything that we have that comes to us is something that we can change into a mathematical vibration and then we look at it and say what are we bringing to ourselves what are we repelled by think about the last time somebody asked you if you'd like to go on a trip and you said sure why not and you say and they said uh or you said where would you like to go and they named a city that you've never been to before and yet your response was i don't want to go there or it was yeah let's go why is that? Why couldn't it have been the same response in both cases? When we take that city and add them up, many times we're going to find out that it actually has a challenging vibration to your life path number. And so it's great fun. It's great fun to figure out all of these numbers. What, are we, what type of vibration are we bringing to ourselves at all times? Uh -huh. So basically what I saw in your bio is that you do mm -hmm. general reading you do compatibility readings, even how oh, yeah. compatible one's home is. And basically, it yeah. sounds so fascinating to me. And I really was thinking, can all of this be done with numbers? It sure can. And the fun part is, is that we don't have to have a special tool. We don't have to have anything special except to add up in our minds, know the basis of each number, and we use 1 through 9. We also use 11, 22, 33. Those are the master numbers. We don't break those down. And once you know the background of each number, then you can start to see how they're woven together. You can see how you may even pull a number. In my case, I'm a seven life cap. We have a little bit of a challenge with the number 8, yet in this part of my life, I needed what the 8 could teach me. But like I said, it's a challenge to me. So right now, as I'm living in uh, a friend's home, I run between my place and their place, house sitting. But I needed that eight pounds in an eight state, in an eight house, to accomplish what I what I needed to accomplish. Now I'm ready to go. <laughs> I've done my thing. But at the same time, it's not unusual also that we will pull a challenging number to ourselves, not in the, for the long haul but just a little while because there is something about it we need to learn. a sun sign, but we are not the sum of just our sun, a sun sign on the Gemini, or somebody else may be a Capricorn, a Scorpio, Virgo, whatever, but we have many planets within our planetary placement. Same thing with our numbers. When I'm sitting down to reading with someone, I'm looking at eight digits, and our life path number is how, it's sort of like the glasses, what we filter life through, it's just our overall personality. But we also have a destiny number, which tells me this is what we're here to accomplish. We also have a soul number, which tells me this is the gift you came into this lifetime vibrating. It's what's tucked away deep down inside your heart. And then you have the day you were born. A very strong number, because we, unless we're telling stories, we cannot change our birthday. So mm -hmm. we have different numbers. And my job, and sometimes I feel like a little bit of a bard, is to take those numbers and weave them together and find out what's going on with this person. What's their weaknesses? What's their strengths? What do they bring to the table? How do they, well, as you said, compatibility. How are they compatible with a per another person that they have chosen to be their partner? So it's great fun to do that. 
Absolutely. Wow. So basically, you pretty much answered my next question. So like the sun signs and the rising signs, the other numbers can pretty much change the characteristics of that life path number, correct? Absolutely. You know, your life path number is always going to be there. You know, when the rubber hits the road, you're still going to respond like that life path number.